Oh no. Keep that out of the way. It's done. Here we are. Where are we? We are at a sound mirror. Sound mirror, concrete, listening device thing. What I'm stood on. Zoom in, this is camera number one down here. Look, look, look. Come on, come on, come on, can't you hear me? All no, right, okay. So look there, see the metal pipe? So this was some sort of like uh, listening device that went down to uh, a bloke with a pair of earphones on and it was to listen for Zeppelins in the First World War. By the time the Second World War came, radar. So this is it, concave mirror. But all the, down the East Coast, but look at this. What an amazing piece of thingy jiggy. And I've been meaning to film this for ages. We'll go up here, we'll have a look at the... Uh, Mr. Stan, we'll go up here. Just can't get the staff. So, red car, early warning station. This structure is a sound mirror detector built by the Royal Engineers in 1916. It was part of an extensive Zeppelin and enemy aircraft detection system deployed down the east coast of Britain during the First World War. Zeppelins raided the northeast coast 15 times between April 15, 1915 and November 1917. The sound of approaching aircraft was reflected off the concave mirror surface and received into a trumpet mounted on a steel column, which was in front of the uh, where I was stood. The trumpet was connected to a stethoscope used by the operator or listener, and the part of the dish that produced the most sound indicated the direction of the approaching aircraft. Advanced, advanced warning of imminent attack could then be given to local people. By the early 1940s, sound detection technology had been replaced by reflective detective finding known as radar. So one more shot to me going down to another that's me along with Stan the famous YouTuber. Anyway, this is Stan and we'll see you. Cut. <laughs> I have to do it, won't I? There we go, cut.